As questions continue to build surrounding President Biden and his family's alleged influence peddling, investigators from the House Oversight Committee are in talks with Devin Archer, a top Biden family business associate, uh, and they're talking about specifically some deals involving the president and, the, and his family. And the Oversight Committee is trying to find information from Archer regarding more than $3 million in payments from a Russian billionaire to a company that's linked to both Archer and the Biden family. Well, joining me now to discuss this and much more is U.S. Representative Andy Biggs. He is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He represents Arizona's 5th District. He's former chairman of the House Freedom Caucus and a dear friend. Congressman Biggs, welcome back to Washington Watch. Thanks, Jody. It's great to be miss you, uh, be with you, and I want you to know we sure miss you in Washington, D.C., that's for sure. Well, thank you so much. It's great to see you. You're looking great. Uh, listen, let's, <laughs> let's uh, if we can, Andy, let's just jump into this. The, uh, the left is, uh, generally speaking, I'm sure, but the, the legacy media uh, probably is not going to like this, but the reality is this whole issue of the Biden family uh, the the allegations regarding potential bribery, influence peddling, this entire investigation is not going away, is it? What's the latest? Yeah, it's not going away anytime soon, Jody. And and uh, the way to think of it is, you've got multiple states, multiple actors from different nations that are providing this uh, funding to Joe Biden, and the one that's up front burning now is the Ukraine uh, oligarch uh, that Chuck Grassley, Senator Chuck Grassley revealed this week is uh, was the guy who started Burisma. They, the way this money was flowing, Jody, $5 million went to Hunter Biden accounts, $5 million went to the big guy or Joe Biden. And it was laundered through multiple uh, corporations, show corporations, multiple bank accounts. And uh, the, the bottom line is, it seems to go right in, and and you you know about this, but but Joe Biden bragged that he was going to uh, that he managed to get uh, uh, Victor Shokin, who was the Ukrainian prosecutor general, off the back of Burisma. Oddly enough, at the very same time, he was vice president, and his son was sitting on the board of directors of Burisma. So it looks like a quid pro quo. Certainly, the oligarch from Ukraine uh, believed it was a quid pro quo, and that's where we sit right now. Yeah, and uh, and Grassley always Senator, Senator Grassley also talked about potential audio recordings of that conversation uh, with President Biden and Hunter. Uh, of course, some Democrats are saying there are no audio recordings. What, what do you know in that regard? So, in the FBI report, which they, by the way, they told us uh, two and a half weeks ago that it did not exist. And then they said it existed and they refused to give it to us. And they still haven't given it to us, but we've had access. I've seen it. I've read it. Uh, in that report, uh, the uh, Ukraine, Ukrainian oligarch said that to protect himself, he had numerous things. So, so he had uh, audio recordings uh, of conversations with, of him with Hunter and with, the, with Joe Biden. But he also has things like emails uh, that, that he has that we're, we're trying to get hold of. Uh, Grassley has confirmed that there are 17 audio recordings between 15 between uh, Hunter and, and other associates and the oligarch and two between Joe Biden himself and uh, the the Ukrainian oligarch. That, that's just uh, insane. I mean, look, I, we all know it, but what would having President Biden on tape mean for this investigation? Well, he would be done. I mean, uh, the, the, the reality is the allegations are bribery, corruption, uh, selling the United States, uh, wire fraud, uh, bank, bank fraud, uh, you know, uh, just generic fraud with the corporation. So there's a whole truckload of criminal uh, uh, issues at stake. But if you had that, and then, also, Jody, if you just threw one other thing there, if you had any kind of uh, in, indicia that, that Joe Biden received any payment for this, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the oligarch said he made sure that he didn't give him anything directly because he didn't want to be tied to him because, quite frankly, he didn't want to be 
caught up in a criminal investigation himself, but now he is. But the bottom line is, uh, if you have Joe Biden on there talking about a quid pro quo, which we don't know because we haven't heard these video, these audios uh, recordings, that that would just about finish off the capacity for Joe Biden to continue because that's substance that's real. Uh, that's not a threat. That's not a perfect phone call. What that is is just flat out simple political corruption. Absolutely. Well, listen, I wish we could talk some more about this. I've got an article I printed out uh, where uh, Chairman Comer is saying that they believe they now have evidence where the Bidens received 20 to 30 million dollars in illegal payments. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But if I can, uh, Congressman, let me switch gears. Uh, the House Homeland Security uh, Committee uh, re released a preliminary report on uh, Secretary Mayorkas and the uh, dereliction of duty, really, that uh, he is uh, guilty of right now. Do you agree with that? Yeah, he's yeah he's been derelict in his duty. He's violated his constitutional oath of office. But moreover, Jody, I think that he has actually um, engineered a, not a securing of our border, but actually making our country less secure, less safe uh, from top to bottom because of what he has done. I think that's willful as well, and uh, that's because. He he basically said he's more interested in humanitarian uh, purposes and mechanisms to get people into this country than he is with securing the border. That is, in my opinion, uh, the the crux of the whole problem is they think everybody in the world should come here, uh, regardless of our ability to incorporate them into our country. Well, it was an honor to serve with you on the Border Security Caucus and your leadership there and everyone on that caucus has just been remarkable. I, I conservatives out there, I can tell you, Congressman, they're, they're hoping that there will be some accountability uh, for the Biden administration uh, across the board from the Bidens themselves and across the board. Thank you for your leadership so much, Andy Biggs, uh, and thank you for joining us on Washington Watch this evening. My pleasure, Jody. We miss you. You look great. Best to your wife and happy Father's Day.